Hi, my name is Mike Mahan with SMA America's Solar Academy. In the video today, we're going to talk about the installation of the WebConnect piggyback card. WebConnect is SMA's communication technology that allows direct data exchange between an SMA inverter and the Sunny portal without the need for a dedicated data logger like the Sunny WebBox. The WebConnect piggyback card allows this communication technology to be used by any SMA string inverter that can take a piggyback card, like this Sunny Boy 5000 US. If you're going to install the WebConnect piggyback card as a retrofit in an existing Sunny Boy installation, you need to verify that the firmware on the Sunny Boy string inverter will support the WebConnect piggyback card. The required firmware versions can be found in the installation manual for the WebConnect piggyback card. Before installing the piggyback card in the inverter, you need to route and land the communication cable. The requirements for the communication cable are shown on page 25 of the manual. The comms cable we'll use today is a modified Ethernet cable. You can see on one end the RJ45 jack has been cut off. We've exposed four of the wires and shown about a quarter inch of conductor. When you remove the RJ45 jack from the end of the cable, there will actually be eight conductors. To determine the four correct conductors to use and where to land them, please consult the installation manual. You will also need to route the cable inside the inverter through this insulated sleeve. Remember to cut that to the right length. Step one of the installation of the piggyback card is to route the comms wire inside the inverter. We routed the cable through a knockout inside the insulating sleeve and landed on two, three, five, and seven terminals below where the piggyback is going to go. I'm wearing a static strap, and remember, whenever you're working inside the inverter, turn off the inverter and wait at least five minutes for any charge to bleed off the capacitors. One thing to be aware of is the requirement to ground the communications wire. If you're not using conduit, you can use the cable gland that's included with the comms card and the process that's described in the manual, or use a grounding bushing with the conduit. Step two of the installation process is the placement of the piggyback card in the inverter itself. Press the card firmly in, and you're done. So the installation is complete. You're ready to put the lid back on the inverter and recommission it. With the installation of the piggyback card complete, we've put the cover back on and powered the inverter back up. The communications cable has been plugged into the router, and we've attached our computer with SMA America's free Sunny Explorer software to that router. You'll use Sunny Explorer to commission the inverter. Be aware that every inverter with the WebConnect piggyback card needs to be directly connected to the router. You cannot daisy chain them like you can with the RS-45 piggyback cards. When you launch the latest version of Sunny Explorer, it'll ask you if you want to scan using Bluetooth or Speedwire. Choose Speedwire. Then the program will go out, scan the local area network for all SMA connected inverters. Select the inverter you want and click connect. When you launch the program, you'll see Sunny Explorer and the inverter. If you click on the inverter, you'll see the overview tab as well as the spot values and settings and events. If you click on the spot values tabs, you'll see instantaneous values. Here we see the DC current and the DC voltage that the inverter is experiencing. Be aware that while Sunny Explorer is showing these instantaneous values, it's not recording them. This is not data logging software, but would be very useful for commissioning or troubleshooting. The settings tab is where you'd actually change parameters for the inverter. I'm going to show you under the grid monitoring tab where you would actually change the frequency windows if you needed to on the inverter. Please note that these parameters are protected. You see the wrench icon here to the right. To change these protected fields, you need a grid guard code. To get a grid guard code, you fill out a form and submit it to SMA service. With the inverter commissioned, you're ready to begin data archiving. To do that, you need to register the inverter with Sunny Portal. To do that, you'll need two codes that are included on a sticker with the piggyback card. Go to sunnyportal.com, click on the plant setup assistant, and follow the on-screen instructions. It's that simple. That's it for this tech tip. If you'd like to learn more about WebConnect, please visit our website, sma-america.com. My name is Mike Mahan for SMA America's Solar Academy. See you soon.